Caleb Hanna is to lead it off for Valparaiso. Pitch number one for McIlvain is in for a strike. A big guy up there too. 0-2 pitch. Took something off, got it over for strike three. One, two. Fastball up and in, a swing and a miss. McIlvain, two strikeouts in the first. Two for 12 in that series. Fly ball down the left field line. This might be trouble. And it drops in, rolls over toward the wall. Austin in with a double. Hit it right over the head of Hannah's the third baseman. And this week, four games in five days. Espinal swinging a miss on a pitch upstairs. Troy Leneve had three hits in that series in South Carolina, including a two for three day in game two. Wild pitch will allow Austin to go to third. This one rolled over to the right side off the bat of Leneve. Career gets over to cover. There's a lot of stuff to think about, especially as a left-handed hitter. Left on left, one, two, strike three. Came back with a fastball for the third strikeout in a row. McIlvain needs a strike with two outs and can't find the plate. Ball four, a four-pitch walk to Ryan and a first base runner for Valparaiso. Back to the plate and a swing and a miss. Similar pitch, just he got on strikes. Four Ks already for Ethan McIlvain. Ro Coleman coaching first base again tonight and Tyler Shoemaker moved over to third and see Ro there. Especially to be part of that Maggie Corbin minority apprentice program. Guy was a terrific player here and part of College World Series teams a few years back. Fun to see him back around and back in a Vanderbilt uniform. Mentioned the coaches moved around a bit. Mike Baxter is away for a few days. His father passed away and he's up in New York with his family. So certainly want Mike to know we're thinking about him and his family, his future here with this Vanderbilt program. He's only played in a couple games, 0 for 2 in appearances against FAU and also against Gonzaga. Sends this one deep to center field on the warning track and that one's gone. Ryan ran out of room. Matt Ossenfort. His first career hit is a home run to make it one nothing Commodores. Well, Kevin, I, th I think that's just kind of the thing this year. You, <laughs> you, you get in, first hit, first legitimate ball he puts in play is an absolute tank to center field. And take a look at the swing. Looks like a hanging changeup up in the zone, right on time with it. A little bit of wind, but man, he went big fly to center field. Not totally juiced up. And that pitch got a piece of Mayfield, so the 2 2 pitch gets away, and Mayfield is a base runner to start the third. At Belmont and looking pretty good tonight, too. Swing and a miss, runner on the move, throw gets away into center field, but he's looking for a base hit that would tie the game and move him into double figures in RBIs. Liner towards center, gonna drop in front of Austin. The runner Mayfield had to hold up to make sure it got down, and Valpo has runners at the corners with one gone. Had a really nice career as part of this Valparaiso program. Runner goes, pitches fouled at the plate. He'll have to come back. I thought it was fouled I at the plate. I thought it was fouled too. Smash back up the middle. Run will score. Vastine throws out Renfro at first. He gets the RBI, and this game's tied at one. The payoff with two outs. Out on strikes. Yeah, the, that staff's pretty solid there at South Carolina. Lead off walk for Vestine in a 3-2 pitch. Catcher's position, you want to keep Espinall in the lineup as well. Vastine runs, that was a terrific throw by Reinertsen to cut down Vastine trying to steal. And that ball is put right on the bag there by Reinertsen. Swing and a miss, good job by Foley to battle back. He fell behind 3-0. It really is a, a good option for him. Foley, back-to-back -back strikeouts, pitching to the middle of this Vanderbilt batting order. Davis, swing and a miss, retrieved by Reinertsen, makes the throw, and the Commodore is retired on three Ks. Lucas Foley. Liner, left field, Leneve won't get to that one, takes a big hop, keeps it in front, and a leadoff single for Juicy to start the fifth. Let that northern weather warm up a little bit. Hit towards short. Commodores try to get two. 6 4 3. 3 1 pitch with two outs. He loses Reinerson to a walk. Could be any of the above. Well, whatever he said, it looks like it may work here. McIlvain, the fastball to first, and they get Hannah's. 1 2 pitch. Foley has faced four and sat them all down. One out in the fifth. Another 1 2 pitch. Line toward right. Mayfield 
Sees it get down as Polk looks to take another base. He's got a double with one out in the fifth. Swing and a miss. Foley with a fastball upstairs right at 90. Strikes out Poteet. Two outs. Go ahead run in the form of Matthew Polk at second base. Hot shot toward shortstop. Thurston throws out Fastine. Payoff down for ball four, so Schmack makes the most of it on base for the first time tonight. Bouncer right side. Davis, Fastine delivers to first. Coming over and talking to the young freshman. Hit towards center field and down for a leadoff single. R.J. Austin on base. Out to short and gets past Thurston. Austin will stop. You see Renfro playing in front of Diaz. Espinal, high fly ball, deep right field. Chases Mayfield back toward the corner. Again, he has trouble. They stop Austin at third. He was holding up to see if the ball was going to be caught. The bases will be loaded with nobody out. Put a swing on it. 3-1 pitch outside for ball four, and Foley walks in the go-ahead run as Austin comes home to score to make it 2-1. to one. His third inning of work, right side, fielded by the first baseman. They throw home to get one, and that's all. They stay put with one out, a foul tip into the mitt. And the pinch hitter, Holcomb, is out on strikes. Looking for a tenth that will get him back to the dugout. And they got it. Jacob Askey comes out of the bullpen to fan Matthew Polk with the bases loaded. Hitters count, and it's ball four. Leadoff man reaches for Valparaiso. Goes again. Pitches down for ball four. The first two on base in the seventh. Vanderbilt has turned two big double plays in the last two innings. Juicy puts it down in front of the mound. Only play will be to first. He bounced it over there, but Davis did a good job. Strikeout would be big in this situation, as Andrew said. Instead, it's a liner out to second, played by Davis. Green's 0-2 to the left side. Diaz bobbles, recovers, and it gets past Austin over at first. Go ahead, run coming down and out of the plate. Valparaiso able to tie the game as Thurston score, but Ryan cut down. Real time, I thought he looked out. See if he slides a hand in there before the tag. Poteet. It's probably the best look here. Yeah, because it looks like he tagged him kind of in his chest and his chin. Well, we get the verdict on the play, and out remains the call. Fast nine on a 3-1 pitch. A rocket to right center field, and gone. Wow. The Commodore shortstop leaves the building. Home run number four makes it 3-2. That's why you put him down there in the nine hole. He's going to give you some production. The ball got out of here in a hurry. It's kind of quiet here in the in the stadium, and that ball just jumped off the bat. Take a look. That's a fastball just right down the middle, and yeah, he got it. Miss hit some balls, but yeah, Vastein got all of that one. Austin chases a pitch away. Rolled to the left side. Valpo will let it roll, and how about that? <laughs> Hugs the line. It's a fair ball. And a two-out base runner, Diaz. 0-2, Espinal, bouncer up the middle, charging Thurston. Allen is gone to wrap up the seventh. Try out Diaz again. Circles and throws, and a collision at first. Safe is the call with Austin. The payoff with nobody out. Runner at first on the move. Bounced to Austin. He steps on the back to get the out. A really nice spot right there. Fastball, the bottom part of the zone. He got left on left, probably going to go with that slider. And it looks like that's going to be a violation. That's going to be the inning. Well, a strange finish to this eighth inning. Denty did not have attention to the pitcher in time, and it's a called third strike. Well, we can see what pitch was yeah, coming next. <laughs> Great camera work from our crew. People have tried that in the big leagues. A swing and a miss. <laughs> when they've gone on strikes to begin the eighth. A few weeks ago when the Commodores played him and he said, this is a really tough time. You know, Scott Brown, you know, worked together with too. Liner left center field with Hewitt on the move on the first pitch. He goes first to third as Polk singles to get Vanderbilt runners at first and third with two outs. Trying to add a little insurance before we head to the ninth. Smash to center field. 
Tracking back to get it is Ryan. Working fast, one, two pitch. High fly ball, left field. It's Polk who moved over from right. He makes the catch. Great speed in right field. Left side of the infield, going to be a tough play. Cyber off the mound, delivers to first. Well done. Payoff with two outs. Called third strike. And the Commodores begin a new week with a victory. Three to two. Four freshman pitchers do the job.